Hey there everyone, welcome to another episode of our vlog, our study vlog. Um, it's been a while, we took some vacation, but we've been pretty much working our ass off grinding and studying, so I think it's time to do another session. I have again collected one, two, three, four, five, plus another hand from a, from GG Poker Network, so six hands to analyze. Um, I faced various decisions that I was not 100% sure how what to do about them. So again, we are going to go over all those hands and then look from the Hold'em Resources Calculator perspective. I have once again already uploaded those scenarios into the Hold'em Resources Calculator as it takes some time and resources to make the calculations and we noticed that it lags out the video if I do it in between in between recording, right? So. Um, I think the best thing to do is just to get into the action. So we have our first hand, which is Ajax suited. We have 30 big blinds, 18 adjusted in the UTG, and we open it right away. Min open. Um, so yeah, everybody folds up until the hijack with jams for 16 big blinds. Uh, everybody folds, and now here was the question, should we call or should we fold? Um, we do cover him. If we call and lose, we are still gonna be left with what 15 big blinds or so. So I think like even without Hold'em Resources Calculator, this should be probably just a call with Ajax. You think it's strong enough? It is probably on the line. Like you should not be calling too wider than that. But I still think it's a call. But like just to be sure, um, I suggest we take a look at the hand. We're gonna find it and then we are going to uh, analyze it. So the hand, let me just find the, oh, sorry, this is the wrong one. Let me just find the hand. Uh, where is it? It's 44367, so it's this one. I already uploaded, as I said, and let's see. So we're in the UTG, we should be opening around 21%, which is fine, you can go a bit tighter, you can go even a bit wider, depends on the table, but Ace Jack suited, as you can see, is clearly an open. So everybody folds up until this Nance 988 guy, and we check, according to Hold'em Resources Calculator, he should be shoving around 18% here, or uh, 11% of hands, and let's see what we should be calling. So we should be calling with around 9.8%, and as you can see, Ace Jack suited is clearly a plus EV call in this spot, which makes sense as we said but like ace 10 suited is still a, cle uh, a, a clearly plus cv call whereas ace 9 suited is pretty much marginal which kind of how do you say which kind of affirm uh, confirms what i was thinking about right um we can check how this changes if we give him a different range so let's see so here it says he should be shoving around 18 11 percent sorry <laughs> i'm a bit I'm a bit confused still, I guess. Uh, so let's say let's say he's shoving a bit tighter. Let's say he's shoving like sixes and above, a ten, no no suited like no suited tens, something like this with king queen off maybe. Let's let's remove king queen off to make it a tiny little bit tighter to see if this is a call versus that range. So versus that range, we should be calling. A bit tighter, but as you can see, Ace Jack suited still falls into ca category of calling. So if we tighten his range even more it's probably going to be less plus cv but i don't think he's going to be shoving tighter than that as we as we said he has 16 big blinds he is decently decently three bad happy eight percent it's not tight it's not super loose so i think we can clearly call we can clearly say this is an easy call with a jack suited uh let's go off to the next hand we have king 10 suited uh, we jam for 17 big blinds. Um, this is a pretty clear-cut call, like 17 big blinds, 11 adjusted, King 10 suit is gonna do well, even if we get called. Uh, but like what I wanted to say to see here is how wide, how much wider I should be shoving according to uh, Hold'em Resources Calculator. Um, I would still say that King 9 suited is going to be an easy shove, King 8 suited probably too, but it's probably going to be there that you don't want to be shoving too many low suited kings. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look and debate it. So, which is King 10 suited? Let me see. Uh, the hand is 08269. Let me just find. So, it's this one. Okay, so we shove. And we should be shoving around 35% of the hands, which is, well, is it surprising? Probably not that surprising, to be honest. Um, as you can see, it is profitable to jam all the way down to King 4 suited. I would still, as I say, um go a little bit tighter than that like king eight suited king seven suited and i think i would cut it with that 
Um, obviously, Queen 9 suited is a jam. Jack 9 suited is a fine jam. All the aces are a fine jam in that spot. So, yeah, just a pretty easy hand. Uh, I marked it just because I wanted to see how wider we should go th than what we had here. Uh, but yeah, King 10 suited, as you can see, is pretty, pretty much a plus EV show. Pretty, pretty plus EV show. Uh, shove. So let's go to the third hand. Ace Queen off. Uh, we open in the UTG, it's a standard open. This time we do it 2.1x. Uh, I alternate between op mean opening 2.1, 2.5, depending on the stack sizes, depending on the opponents, but it's it doesn't make too much of a difference. Um, it doesn't make too much of a difference between two like mean open and a 2.1 open. So we do it with a 2.1. Uh, gets folded all the way to the big blind. We, who dis who decides who decides to shove, which is interesting, right? Uh, one thing to consider here is he still has 30 big blinds, right? So it's a pretty decent stack, first of all. Second of all, in the big blind you have nobody left behind, so he's closing the action. So he should be more inclined to call a little bit more uh, with hands like um, I don't know, ace nine suited, ace eight suited, like any suited ace, uh, like queen jack suited, jack ten, ten nine suited. You can just call and see a flop, right? You don't need to worry to be three batted uh, after you because there's nobody left to act behind you. You're closing the action. So he does shove, and let's see what Hold'em Resources Calculator says, says about that. Uh, let me find the hand. So ace queen off is seven seven zero six zero. Um, oh, come on, now I don't have it here. Oh, it is here. Never mind. I'm stupid. It was the first one in line. Um, so this is the hand. As I said, we open a screen off. It's a clear cut open. A screen off is going to be a highly plus EV open in this spot, which is totally um, logical in my opinion. So yeah, let's see. Everybody folds um, up until the big blind. He should be shoving 15% here according to, according to Hold'em Resources Calculator, right? Um, he should be, he can be shoving ace 10 suited ace 9 suited ace jack suited queen jack suited jack 10 suited But as I said, like I don't think people are gonna be jamming this wide I think they're gonna be calling with like queen jack suited jack 10 suited I think they're gonna be more likely to call in this spot uh, But it doesn't matter. Let's see if he's actually shoving this wide if we should be calling with ace queen off We should be calling around 8.7 percent and you can see that ace queen off should still be a pretty like a hugely profitable call against his shoving range in this spot. Um, ace jack off is still a plus EV call. Ace 10 suited, king queen suited, and all the way down to sixes. Uh, but as I said, let's say that he let's change his range a li let's change his range a little bit. Let's say he's gonna be like calling a lot of like let's remove these hands anyway. Uh, I think he should like calling with those small pocket pairs. You can see a flop. Uh, I don't know. Some people would jam it sometimes, but like for 30 big blinds, I don't think they are. So I think he's gonna be calling with all those suited hands more than um, more than jamming. Uh, King Jack, Queen Jack. So like if we give him such a range for jamming, like it does depend on the player. He's 24-18 as you can see here. He is not like overly aggressive. I think he's uh, he has pretty decent stats over 160 hands. So let's say he's jamming something like this, right? Uh, let's remove this uh, small percentages here too, uh, just to make it, um, just to remove it from the analysis. So ex see, so let's say he's jamming 8.7%. Let's see if we should still be calling ace queen. And as you can see, ace queen off is at the bottom of our calling range, off to the ace calling range, but it sh should still be a call versus that range. Um, so yeah. Let's see if he's shoving, like, let's say he's shoving tens and above, right? Let's say he's always calling, let's say he's always calling with those small pocket pairs, just seeing a flop. Let's see how our range should change then. Then, as you can see, ace queen is still a profitable call, but we should be calling um, tens and above uh, here versus a shove. We should not be calling nines, eights, um, which is kind of logical, right? So, I think here like without any reads i think you can fold you still have a healthy stack you don't need to like it's probably gonna be a, a flip you're gonna you're never gonna be in a pretty like in a dominant shape anyway so i think you can avoid this spot if you have any read that he's shoving a bit wider than usual um i don't see a reason why not why not to call with a screen here um so yeah Let's go. We have two more hands plus the the hand from GG Network. So the next hand is pocket eights. I think this is again a simple a simple one. We shove here for 16 big blinds. I think this is like a pretty clear cut shove with pocket eights. 
uh, nothing to say about it but I did want to know if we should be shoving all pocket pairs here and if we should be like how wide we should be shoving in general so let's take a look at that uh, pocket 8 is 1.2 uh, which is the, where is the hand 1.2 it's this one I think yeah it is it's this one so um, who shoved this guy profit prophetic shoves he should be he, he said that he's shoving 37%. Oh no, he mean opens. Never mind, I'm stupid. He mean opens from the cutoff, no, from the hijack, 37%, which is uh, totally fine. Uh, I think it's a standard range. And let's see. According to Holden Resources Calculator, all pocket pairs should be a profitable shove here. Um, which kind of makes sense, right? Really can't, can't comp like, really can't argue with that. Um, depends on how much he's folding his fold to three bet is 70 percent close to 70 percent so actually he's folding on the higher side which is really good for us when we're shoving right uh so yeah we should be sh we can be shoving all suited aces all pocket pairs uh off suited aces like a7 and above are highly profitable um and that is fine it does depend on what he calls with right it says here he's calling with 23 percent let's say we tighten this range a bit let's say he's calling with uh, sixes and above let's say he's calling like a state suited and above just to see how the the, the rain the the rain changes let's say he's calling a stand off and above and no off suited shit here like king queen off okay let's say he's calling king queen off um let's say he's calling something like this let's see how our range changes like if we put it like this so then we should be oh we should be shoving even more because he's folding so much yeah it makes sense right this is kind of interesting um, like I mean it's like the reverse logic that you usually use right because like when you when you say he's calling with a tighter range a stronger range you you, you want to think like um, oh I should not be shoving as much because he's gonna call me with only strong hands right but in reality this is the case when he's only calling with 11% it means that he's folding a huge amount of his range he's folding like more than two out of three times so you're gonna be printing money every time he folds and when he does call you're still gonna be doing decently well with this with the hands that you have here right so um, yeah it kind of makes sense right so this is something to, to think about something to uh, a food for thought something to keep in mind so yeah that's a pretty interesting observation here actually right um, so yeah, obviously we're still not going to be shoving all that, but if he's folding more than like it says that he's folding more than 70% here, right? If he has 11% calling range versus say 40%, oh, he's call he's folding almost 80% of his hands. So, yeah, then three betting him like crazy is going to be highly plus EV, right? So, yeah. That's a, that's a good thing to note, a uh, good thing to keep in mind, and yeah, we learn something every day. It's just a reverse logic that you have to use in this spot. Um, let's go to the final hand, king queen suited here. Um, we show for 20 big blinds. Um, like, I mean, I don't think that min opening is gonna be bad, but I think it's just gonna be a bit easier to play the hand as a show. We only have like 20 big blinds, 12 adjusted. Uh, we don't like min open folding king queen suited kind of feels weak, kind of feels tight. Um, and yeah, min open calling is, I guess, an option, but I think like, sh I still prefer shoving in this spot. Uh, everybody does fold, which is fine, but I do want to see what I, I think I checked. Like, I, I don't know if I checked, let me just see. So the hand, which is like, where's the hand King queen suited? Where is it? Okay. Four, nine, six, six, nine. So it's this one. Oh no, I didn't. I think I wanted to s to see whether it's better to min open it. It's if it's more plus EV to min open it or to shove it. But I think it's gonna be there, there, and I don't mind shoving it all here. So let's see. Um, yeah, we should clearly be shoving king queen suited. It's gonna be plus EV. It's not as plus EV as you might think, but it's still gonna be okay. Um, you have to realize we are pretty early in our position. There are still one, two, three, four, five people left to act behind us that can wake up with a hand. Uh, but yeah, it's still a shove. As you can see, like Ace Jack suited is pretty, m like is more plus EV. It's an easy shove. Ace Queen suited definitely. Um, with those hands, you can even like with those strong hands, you could even consider min opening to induce a shove from a weaker hand, right? Um, so you can go both ways. But King Queen suited is a fine shove in this spot. 
Um, okay, so this is it in terms of this hands. Now we have now I have one less hand to show you to analyze with you. I did analyze it before this, and I just wanted to show it. We were playing daily yellow fifteen dollar, and we made it to the final table. There was five people left. We were in the UTG with ace queen suited, uh, and yeah, we were the shortest stack. I think we had one. No, we had one hundred and twenty k. And this guy in the small blind hit 80k. All the other guys have have had us covered. They had much bigger stacks than we had. Um, so here, like ace queen suited, we shoved. I think it's a it's a it's a pretty clear cut shove, right? It's a really strong hand. Um, you do have to consider some ICM pressure here. Like you have one guy that's shorter than you. That means that he's probably there's high likelihood that he's gonna buzz before us, so we can make the ladder. But I did think that Ace Queen suited is just too strong to to kind of consider that and fold. So the hand is this one. Uh, we were in the UTG, and as you can see, like as you can see, we should be we should not be shoving super wide. As you can see, Ace Queen off is really marginal shove in this spot. Um, because of all the all the things considered, ICN considerations like the 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 payouts, right? The letters, which are important. Um, if there was, if there was, for example, I can guarantee you, if the other guy, if the the smallest stack had like 30k, 300k, if we were the shortest stack here, it would be way more pro plus CV to shove Ace Queen off in this spot. But as you can see, Ace Queen suited is definitely, uh, it's a definitely plus CV shove in this spot. Um, so yeah, we take this opportunity and shove. Unfortunately, he woke up with sixes. Uh, on the flop, we were super happy. We saw an ace. We just needed to dodge a two outer. Unfortunately, he got there on the turn. But it doesn't matter. Like this is just like if you look at it, this you're just money oriented. You just wanna consider like a hand in a vacuum and an, as an overall as an overall um, consideration, ace queen suited should be a shove here. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know, like, I've, I've been thinking for future vlogs what I want to do, if I want to do it in a different way, but I still think this is really good. I think this is something that kind of, like, you guys get a lot out of it because you see those ranges, you see how they change. We figure things out together as we go. And I think this is really a nice way to do analysis, to get used to those spots, to kind of get knowledgeable in those spots. So you can always, the next time at your, when you're at a table, when you have a similar situation, you know for sure what to do. So yeah, that's gonna be it for now, guys. Six hands. I hope they were interesting. If you have any comments, if you would do something else differently, if you think we made a, a, a huge mistake in an analysis at some spot, do let me know in the comments. Um, and yeah, that's it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.